Hi, and welcome to episode three of My Life Lesson. Today we have rising star actor Link Hand. We did acting classes together here in LA, from Alabama to Los Angeles. Check out his story. Wow. Uh, I don't know if it was so much bravery other than just I was crazy. Um, I got really lucky. I did commercials when I was a little kid, so I, I caught the bug when I was young. But then I started playing sports, and very long story short, I ended up dating a girl who was, who was modeling locally where I was from in Alabama. And a movie came to town, and so of course she got an audition, so I drove her there. And casting director came in and was like, oh, so uh, what part are you going to read for? And I was like, brother, I'm just chauffeuring her, man. That's what I'm here to do. And he's like, just shut up and read. So, okay. Walked in and I ended up getting the part. And so it kind of made me think, you know what, why, why not give it a shot? Why not try it? And so did a little research then jumped in my car and moved out here. Well, I made it through the theatrical auditions. And we had to do baseball tryouts. And I've been an athlete my whole life, so I was excited about, I'm really getting close to this. I had an audition right before the, the baseball tryouts, and I was all the way, if you don't know where this is, or if you do, I was basically 45 minutes away with no traffic. When I finished the first audition, I had 30 minutes to get there and not be late. So I was gonna be late, no matter what. I run, tearing my clothes off down the street, throw it in the car, car was keyless entry. I threw my keys in the trunk, locked myself out of the car. So I'm freaking out. I'm going insane. And uh, so I run across the street. There's a GMC there. I'm like, please break into my car. And they tell me they can't do it. And I'm sitting there arguing. I'm like, please break into my car. They're like, we're not going to jail. I'm, you know, I'm a stupid actor. I'm in half a baseball uniform. So I'm like, just give me a hammer, man. Just, just give me a hammer. And so they hand me a hammer. I run across the street. I smash out the window to my car jump in, hand them the glass that I pulled out, take off, heading up to 405, bobbing, weaving through traffic, get to the 101 and it just opens. So I, uh, <laughs> I cold trickle, I just drop the hammer and may have broke a lot of speed limits, so don't, uh, won't really admit to how fast I was going, but I make it to the place with two minutes to spare. Slide into a parking lot, which was not a parking space. See a bunch of people out in the field, and I run up, and I'm like, this is 42. And they're like, yeah, but that's not a parking place. And I was like, okay. They're like, so go park your car and come back. So I park my car, come running back, and there's two well-known actors there, and just me, and all of production, and all of casting. And so they sit there and go, you know, your manager's called us and told us what you did. So why did you break out the window to your car? And I'm looking at all these people, I'm kind of freaking out. And I was like, I just didn't want to be late. Literally everybody there just kind of looked at each other and was like, okay. And the guy goes, well, let's see what you got. And then a couple weeks later, I got the phone call. And it was, uh, it was pretty crazy. Driving away from that audition, I didn't know if I got it or not. But I knew that there was nothing else would ever stand in my way. If there was going to be a wall there, then it doesn't exist because I'm coming. It has to be when 42 did a premiere in Alabama and my dad got to sit next to me and he got to see me on the big screen. And my father, this, this is his ring, he passed the beginning of this year. So he got to see the beginning of some things. So that's, that has to be one of my proudest moments because he, he knew I was going to be okay. And, um, yeah, that meant everything to me. It was, before we went in to watch it, it was crazy. I was, I was doing interviews and kind of pulled all over the place. It was, it was crazy. And, uh, and I hear this voice. It's like, hey, superstar, will you sign my baseball? And I turn around as my pops had waited in line to come up to get me to sign something. And it was, I'll never forget that. I, uh, I was brave enough to get out of here, and then I would run, run from success a lot. So 
the biggest thing that I continue to battle with is myself. Like sometimes fear of being able to do something or, or should I try this, should I not try it. But uh, I've won the battle with some things and, and keep it going, continually evolve. That's the goal. Go for it. Just do it. There is no magic bullet. There is no magic word. There is no magic opportunity. You just got to go. Whatever it is, whether it's acting or music or a corporate job, whatever it is, when you have that desire and you need it like you need the air you need to breathe, then you're willing to put in the work. You're willing to strap in and go because then work is not work anymore. It's, it's just what you do. And when you pull the trigger and you make it, you find out some stuff about yourself. You find out whether you really want it or if you want to do something else. But you will never know, in my opinion, unless you go. And the biggest thing that scares me is waking up one day going, well, I, I could have if I would have tried. I want to know. So if you want to know, then go find out. Thank you. Recently, Link shared this with me. He who seeks his limitations finds them. Brilliant. Thanks for sharing your story. Guys, hit subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. You thought you were gonna make it? You're just average, you're an average student. And that really struck me.